Brexit uncertainty, US employment figures. Good morning and welcome to Rational Thinking. My name's Joshua and today we'll be covering all of last week's events and news um, and having a look forward at what we can expect this week. So to start off with the pound, the pound actually had quite a mixed week last week. It started off uh, with Michel Barnier rejecting Theresa May's checkers proposal, but then quickly changed with German officials saying that they would be happy to provide us with favourable terms, of which we're not yet sure of what they will be, but in any case, it's definitely a step in the right direction. We also had last week Mark Carney say that he's happy to extend his position as the head of the Bank of England. We know that his tenure was supposed to finish in 2019, but he's going to extend it to be the head of the, head of the Bank of England and oversee the Brexit outcome. On Friday, we also had uh, Philip Hammond come out and said that he expects a very positive deal or a positive outcome from Brexit. And all of this is really just good news that's caused the pound to move higher and, uh, and appreciate across the board. So for the dollar, last week we had the unemployment figures. Um, painted quite a mixed picture with the unemployment rate itself at 3.9% and the non-farm payroll at 201,000 against a previous of 191,000. Um, these figures are obviously going to be very closely watched along with the inflation figures later on this month to see whether the FOMC do deliver on a rate hike in September as well as the expected one in December or if that consensus falls away. Looking to the week ahead, we've got GDP figures and retail sales figures for the UK earlier on this week, with the main focus being the Super Thursday meeting, um, obviously on Thursday. Um, we're going to be closely watching it to see if there is any insight into the next rate hike for the UK. We're not actually expecting it given we've only recently had the rate hike, but in any case, it's never something that we can disregard. For the US, we've also got uh, inflation figures. Given that we've reached only on Friday had the employment figures, it, those inflation figures will be very, very closely watched in regards to any potential rate hikes uh, stateside. And that's all from me this week. Thank you for joining us. If you've got any questions or any queries, please feel free to reach out to us on the email.